guys, Jason Wheeler here, one of the pastors at North Park Church here in Columbus, Nebraska. And once again, bringing your life group message to you for the week. I'm very grateful to be doing that. And we are on week 13 of our Samson series. It is the last week of our Samson series here, bringing it all to a close. So uh, you guys know how this works, I'm, I'm sure. I'm going to go ahead and read our key verses to you. And you guys follow along in your Bibles or on your outlines here. And then we will get into some discussion questions. And our key verses this week are from Judges chapter 16, verses 23 through 31. So, fair amount of scripture here. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and read that. You guys follow along, and then we'll jump into some discussion questions. All right. Now the lords of the Philistines gathered to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon, their god, and to rejoice. And they said, Our god has given Samson, our enemy, into our hand. And when the people saw him, they praised their God, for they said, Our God has given our enemy into our hand, the ravager of our country, who has killed many of us. And when their hearts were merry, they said, Call Samson, that he may entertain us. So they called Samson out of prison, and he entertained them. They made him stand between the pillars, and Samson said to the young man who held him by the hand, Let me feel the pillars on which the house rests, that I may lean against them. And now the house was full of men and women. All the lords of the Philistines were there. And on the roof there were about 3,000 men and women who looked on while Samson entertained. And then Samson called to the Lord. And he said, O oh Lord, God, please remember me. Please strengthen me only this once, O oh God, that I may be avenged on the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson grasped the two middle pillars on which the house rested. And he leaned his weight against them his right hand on the one and his left hand on the other. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. Then he bowed with all his strength and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people who were in it. So that the dead whom he killed at his death were more than those whom he'd killed during his life. Then his brothers and all his family came down and took him and brought him up and buried him between Zorah and Eshtal in the tomb of Manoah, his father. He judged Israel 20 years. Okay, so some great stuff there. Samson definitely uh, going out with a bang. <laughs> Let's jump into our discussion questions. Question one, who do you relate to most in our story and why? There are several characters in there. Pray about that. Uh, talk about that amongst your group. Who do you relate to most in the story and why? Okay, so on to question two. You know, for the, the only, only two times in the story of Samson have we seen him call out to the Lord, uh, even though he, he's obviously remembered as a man of serious faith, judged Israel for 20 years. In our story, he's dying of thirst at one point, and he calls out to the Lord, and then he calls out to the Lord here again in uh, verse 28. So what stands out to you about the way that Samson called out to the Lord. I mean, people are calling out to the Lord all day, every day. Um, <laughs> people that know Jesus, people that don't know Jesus. I know long before I knew Jesus, I was calling out to God for all kinds of stuff constantly. But as it pertains to our story here, what stands out to you about the way that Samson called out to the Lord? Pray about that and talk about that now. Okay, so hopefully that generated some good discussion there. I know there's plenty to, to pull out of those verses. So to get a little bit deeper, um, to get a little bit more personal, first, have someone in your group read Philippians 2, 5 through 8, and then Luke 9, 23. You've got it written out on your outline there. Philippians 2, 5 through 8, and Luke 9, 23. Go ahead, read those out loud now, and then... Come back for question three. Okay, so question three. What are these verses telling you about how to die to yourself and how to call out to the Lord? Pray about that and talk about that now. Okay. 
Okay, so these verses are obviously are all about sacrifice, um, all about service. This is definitely calling out to the Lord in obedience, calling out to the Lord um, for the, the strength to, um, to follow his will, not, not calling out to the Lord for, uh, for power or for material things or for comfort. Now, not that, you know, we shouldn't be praying for, um, you, you know, for help in all circumstances with everything, prayer and supplication. But what we see here, what Jesus models for us, he's a guy who had all of the power ever, more power than we could ever imagine. Any power and all power was Christ, but he emptied himself of everything and made himself a servant. And Samson is a good picture of that. Here's a guy who, for, for the most part, you know, had all kinds of power. But in these verses here at Judges 16, verse 28, he is calling on the Lord just for the strength to accomplish his will. And, you know, he's going to die in the process. So that, that's a, a good picture of dying to ourselves for the will of Christ and the right way to call out to God. So moving on to question four, to get even a bit more personal, discuss a time that you have found yourself in a situation similar to Samson's. Now, obviously, um, <laughs> you, you, you haven't died or you wouldn't be listening to this video right now or listening to this, uh, this YouTube clip. But what I mean by the question is a, a situation where um, you've gotten to the end of yourself and, you know, Samson in, in this particular situation is not concerned about his circumstances or how this is really going to affect his level of comfort. He just really wants the strength to, to, to call out to Christ in obedience and to follow that. So... Pray about it, and when have you found yourself in similar circumstances in your life? When your will, your comfort, your desires, your, your flesh just doesn't matter anymore. You're at the end of it, and you just want to cry out to God for His help with His will. Pray about that and talk about that now. Okay, question five. Takeaway question. How is God asking you to die to yourself today? You know, we're supposed to die to ourselves daily, so you should be asking him how you are to continue to crucify your flesh in this day, in this moment. So how is God asking you to die to yourself today? That's your takeaway question. And uh, that's it for your life group this week. It's been a great Samson series. We've got some really, really exciting stuff coming up, so you know, stay plugged in, and I'll be back with you next week.